From the Linmar Technology and Communications Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Thursday, December 8th, 2011. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. Free food. Today for Club Connection, Craig Johnson tells us more. Craig? Thanks, guys. So, what are you having for breakfast tomorrow? FCA invites you to a free pancake breakfast tomorrow morning in the food court. It starts at 7.30. Bring your friends. Everyone is welcome. Again, that's tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the food court. Then, bring in a canned food item and get a free snack. Cans for cookies and bake sale continues tomorrow morning from 8 to 8.30 in the Four Corners. The collected cans will go to Mission of Hope. Even if you don't bring in cans, you can still buy treats. That's tomorrow morning in the Four Corners. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Craig. In other news, what are you doing tonight? Check out the fourth annual Cham Chamber and Jazz concert featuring the Chamber Orchestra and Colton Center Jazz Ensemble. They are performing several of their holiday favorites. The concert will feature special guest singer Craig Bosch, an Eastern Iowa jazz vocalist who will be joined by our very own Miss Tina Monroe, principal of Indian Creek. Stop by, sing along, and enjoy the music. Tickets are $3 at the door or bring your activity pass to get in free. That's tonight at 7.30 in the auditorium. As your current classes end, please return materials you have finished using to the Media Center. Thank you and happy holidays from the Media Center. We'll be back with more LMTV News right after this. Hey, what if I said you could get two cookies for a single can of food? What? That's outrageous! Yes. Yes, it is. I knew I'd use these someday. Well, money's fine, too, to buy baked goods. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. For the entire Friday cast, happy holidays. Welcome back. Seniors, the deadline is coming up fast to get your senior photos in this year's yearbook. Two photos are due to Miss Kelly in A105 or the main office before you leave for the holiday break. Now Jeremy takes a look at this morning's sports. Jeremy? Tonight in uh, Limar Sports, JV and Varsity Wrestling will compete in the Jefferson Tri-Meet. Ninth grade girls basketball will meet, will host Iowa City High at 4 p.m. Tomorrow is Spirit Friday. The Varsity Boys basketball team is hosting the Iowa City West. Before school, student council will be offering free face tattoos. <coughs> tattoos in the four corners. Rally towels will also be available for just $5 each. <clears throat> Pick up your towel for the blackout game tomorrow night. The game will be shown live on KCRG 9.2. As a result, Elm TV Live Sports will not be carrying the game. In other sports news, get your own girls basketball t-shirt. <clears throat> they are just $10 each. Order forms are available in Mrs. Dane's office. Hurry, orders are due by next Wednesday. All boys and girls interested in running track this season, don't forget, preseason lifting starts every Tuesday and Thursday from, from 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. That's sports. Back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And news from the counselors. A rep from the National Guard will be in the lower commons today during all three lunch periods. Students taking the ACT exam on Saturday are reminded to check their calculators, bring their admission tickets and appropriate IDs to the testing site, and arrive at 8 a.m. See your counselor if you have questions. For more on these stories, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now Allison joins us with the Arts and Clubs. On the Arts and Clubs scene, if you are a peer buddy member of Best Buddies and are missed this morning's meeting, then you must attend the mid-year meeting after school at 3.15. Key Club members will be making blankets again today after school in the Media Center. Please come and lend a hand in this project. Senior TAG students, don't forget to join Mrs. Connerly in the ICN room for a pizza lunch during your normal lunch hour. Interact is looking for volunteers to help with tickets at Theater Cedar Rapids this Saturday at 1.30. If you are interested, please see Mr. Gentry in room 222. That's your club update. Back to you, Georgie. Thanks, Allison. Today on Channel 1, a look at the top 10 Twitter trends. Today at 3 on LMTV. 
Now Jeremy joins us with today's lunch. It's a pork tenderloin with green bean casserole and sliced pears. The other lines will feature macaroni and cheese and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The food court serves chicken noodle or cheddar baked potato soup and a sandwich. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. Our drive home will, could be a little slippery. Our lm 2 forecast calls for scattered flurries this afternoon with a high of 29. Tonight will be partly cloudy and cold with a low of 14. Tomorrow will be sunny and cold with a high of only 22. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV. Just remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day, Linmar.